everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Violet. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by today. Some of you may have already seen our Bola renovation video from a few years back. Just look right there, take a click if you wanna see what that's all about. My husband and I are definitely very, very amateurs, but we wanted an inexpensive and fun project that summer, so we decided to do a 1967 Bowler renovation. Now the good news was the frame was in good condition when we renovated it, and we were really just playing, experimenting, having fun. Don't judge the warts. <laughs> Just understand the process and know that my husband and I are closer than ever with that shared trauma behind that us. shared trauma behind us. Anyways, we were ready to go camping last summer. We drove it over to my in-laws where we were hoping to fix some of the electrical issues that were showing up with the lights. Now, that was not a problem. My father-in-law ready to go help us out with that because he knows a thing or two about trailers and lighting. However, something happened. He lifted the trailer up onto his, uh, what is it called, Phil? The jack. He, he jacked it up like to the ceiling with his great big jack puller upper thing and he was able to look underneath it and noticed that there was a massive substantial crack. He uh, told us that it was a miracle we made it to his place without the whole thing collapsing and rolling down the side of the road. With our beautiful green egg Penelope intact, we decided to start saving. This is a very old trailer. Making a custom frame is no joke. This is not something my husband and I were qualified to do. My father-in-law had in the past made trailer frames and so offered to do that for us. So take a look at what the old one looked like and then the new one beside it. He trusted us, however, to paint the new frame he fabricated for us. I wanted to share with you painting our new frame and setting it on the new trailer.
project, it is still in progress. We need to bolt it down and we need to finish fixing the lights. I'm really, really grateful for my father-in-law's help. Thank you, Art. You are wonderful. Oh my gosh, you saved our lives. I honestly have nightmares about us driving with the truck and fishtailing big time and flipping over the side of the highway with a trailer that's coming off. So the next video on the bowler, hopefully we'll give you an update on the progress we make with the lights. As well, we are hoping to fix the door because it's not sitting very well on its hinges. And we're hoping with that to do some air stripping. And we're considering maybe doing some of the supports for the cabinetry on the opposite side and maybe removing the water tank. For now, let's just finish bolting it on, do some lighting, and we can have some camping adventures this summer. Please stay tuned for gold panning. Thank you so much for joining me today talking about the bowler. If you have any suggestions, if you like this video, if you want more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Have you ever tried renovating a trailer? What went well? What went wrong? Have any of you ever accidentally gotten to a situation where your frame was cracked because it was 50 years old? I mean, 53 years old? Who knows? I don't know. Good enough. Everyone stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to stay six feet or two meters apart. Wash your hands. And wash your hands, that's right. Have a wonderful day, keep smiling.